Hi everyone, hope you're well, welcome back. I'm gonna be vlogging some of my days this week because uh, I've got a few things on. It's been really busy since I've come back from Portugal. Literally, I feel like I've like hit the ground running. There's been so many things. I got back uh, like on the weekend and then from that Monday onwards was just like a lot going on, but it was nice as well because I always like meeting new people and it's always interesting and what else has been going on? Indy's settling into school again. She's gone into year two. Oh my God, survived the summer holidays. Um, Because we went away, that was a nice, that was a nice ending to the summer holidays, you know, but it's still intense. Go, like holidaying with a child is, <laughs> like it's not relaxing. Um, Even though like the trip was, so, I loved it, but it's not relaxing. You know, you're on, it's like, because kids are a full-time job, so it's like you're, you're doing a job while you're on holiday. <laughs> but the main thing is she had a good time because I just really wanted her to have a nice holiday. So now, back into work. We're going into a new season, obviously, even though it hasn't felt like it at all. Because um, it's been really hot. But yeah, so I'm also doing that, trans it's that transition time. You know, I'm sort of like, right, let me sort my wardrobe out and everything. Sort of do some switches with my accessories and everything. And I'm also, so here, I have some new jewelry that I'm gonna show you as well from Pandora. I'm really, these pieces are gorgeous. When I've been out and about at the moment, I've been looking for any nice pieces that I can add in for this autumn winter. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do a little bit this week too. I'm going into London tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have a look, little look around then to see if I can find anything for the season swap. And then with my jewelry as well, I'm gonna do a little zhuzh. <laughs> these are pieces that I picked out from Pandora. I quite liked it on the website because there's, these pieces are a bit more, the designs are a bit more like chains and things, or they have designs that are a bit more feminine, a bit more dainty. But you know me, I like, I like my chains, I like my more, um heavier sort of looking jewelry you know i love jewelry of course <laughs> so i'm really excited because i get to start wearing these now because i've been saving them so we've got a really cute packaging by the way i'm gonna put these pieces on and show you how i layer them all together first are these silver hoop earrings i hope you can see there going old school sort of ridging effect on them cute they're a very everyday piece this ring i love it i love it i'm not gonna want to take this off okay it's this ring but i'm just gonna wear it like here and then layer it's so nice honestly the quality is really nice too Oh my god, or I might wear it as a thumb ring. That's cute. Really pretty. I don't know if to wear it here or there. I think I might keep it there. So this chain necklace, really nice layering piece. It's like this. Let's put it on, see what the length is like. Oh my god, perfect. It's the perfect length. Okay, now I'm going to layer it with this. This necklace, oh my god, I tried it on, I tried it on just once before this, and I'm like, mm, I, ne I have never seen a design like this before. Look at this. Because it looks like, you know, the piercing, the piercing designs that you'd have in your septum or something. Oh, there's two different, um, choice, oh, there's different choices for the length. Oh, that's so good, because when I was looking online, I didn't know if it would have to be, uh, you know, the the chain size or if I could do different sizes. So this is good because especially with layering, you don't want them to be exactly the same length where they fall. So look, that's perfect. So cute. I might make that a little bit shorter actually so it goes there. But I love it. <laughs> Sorry, you know me, I get you know I get really overexcited when I'm when I like something new. It's not too much, but it's still interesting. It's still interesting enough that people would be like, oh, where did you get that? Do you know what I mean? I've got these two chain bracelets because I think they'll look so nice to mix metals with. I think it just makes it that 
bit more interesting, you know, when you, when you mix metals. I'm not scared to do it. Some people don't like it because I think they clash and things, but I think it depends what you're wearing as well. I feel like if you're wearing quite a minimal thing, obviously I wear a lot of black as well. I feel like mixed metals works well with that. These two, so let's put these on. Oh, and then I also have, I also have a charm. I chose, the, ah! I chose this little Hamza hand. We'll focus, there we go. Do you know what I really like about these? The uh, the catches, catches, the clips are very subtle. They're not, it, it's really seamless with the rest of the chain. You know, sometimes they make the, the catch like really thick or, you know, it looks quite a lot different to the chain, so it's just, but this look, it's just very, very seamless. And they have more chains like this as well. Oh, it was so hard to choose because they had a chain, I think more like this size as well. So that would look, that would look so nice as well layered. That's what I love, like mixing these different thicknesses, um, you know, with necklaces or with bracelets. I thought that would be so nice as a bracelet in this size. So I went for that. I think because I'm wearing black, the exposure is going a little bit crazy. So sorry. I love this Hamza. Sorry, I'm so close to the camera like this. <laughs> but yeah, I love that Hamza. It's such a good size as well. I thought it'd be smaller actually on the website, but I really like the size. I'd love to layer even more rings as well. I love layering, layering rings. But yeah, so thank you Pandora because I feel like this works well as the vibe for, you know, coming up to more autumn, winter and a bit more silver, cool tones. I'm gonna be wearing obviously black, <laughs> gonna be wearing black again. I'll leave the links to all of the pieces down below as well if you wanna check them out. They're really, really lovely, really nice quality. They have a really nice feature as well where it's like you can try it on yourself on the website. What I need to do now as well is go through my current wardrobe, switch things out and try and find some new, some new pieces that I want to um, incorporate. I'm gonna be out and about tomorrow and I'll bring you with me as well. in the toilet so I thought I'd get a little outfit of the day um but this mirror's a bit <laughs> a bit like grainy but this white top wide leg trousers this is better you can kind of see cheers Versace, this kind of denim printed dress this was kind of a weird with some vintage you find it's a bit of a weird length because it's a kind of you know thing <gasps> <laughs> So we all get a chance to go and have a little look on the pre-loved rail. It was such a nice event. I met some new people and saw some people I know as well. They had pre-loved items like there on the sides and then we we're allowed to um, go through and pick a piece or two, like a few pieces and I found the most beautiful brown leather jacket, like vintage um, and a poster girl top. Found some lunch, it's Turkish. I wanna try this Blank Street coffee because I keep seeing everyone posting it. What is, okay, we need to see what the hype is. So I got the pistachio latte with oat milk. Oh, my feet. I've been waiting to do this. Oh. Okay, hi. Made it back home, finally. My feet are killing me. Why did I wear kitten heels in, for a day in London? <sighs> I knew it was a bad idea when I, like, when I left in them, I don't know what. Anyway, um, I went to get a few things in MAC as well because I needed my like, eyebrow pencil and things and the guy that was working there was like, oh my God, where did you get your necklace from? And I was like, Pandora. <laughs> yeah, do you know what's so funny, you know? Because you know I mentioned the septum piercing as well. He had that as well and then he liked this because, you know, it's that sort of style. So that's so funny. Um, I just wanted to show you what I got. It has some little additions to the wardrobe. So this is from Poster Girl. This top, it's so cute. So <laughs> I feel like it's it's out of my comfort zone. It's not my usual kind of thing. I'm usually more sort of like minimal, more because it's got these uh, buckles on it and things. But I just think it's a good trend piece to have and i'm gonna try it on and see like maybe i might wear it tonight for the event i'm going to tonight and then oh my god 
Oh, also from Mac, I've got. I just got my eyebrow felt pen, shape and shade in spiked. I'm trying the brush stroke liner in brush black. Oh my god, look at this jacket! I love it. Oh, it smells very vintage, but it's fine. Look at this. I love the colour. How nice is it? And then the back as well. It has this gathering at the back, so. I really like it with my outfit today actually, but it was too hot to, to wear it. If it was more cold, if it was colder, I would have worn it around London. But you see like, I really like the back. It's quite boxy, that's the only thing. The shoulders come out a bit, but you know, I guess that's just, you know, with these um, classic styles as well, that just, you know, that tends to happen, it's kind of normal. This is a really good addition for, for autumn winter now. I'm really happy. I just thought I'd show you it, the top one as well. It fits perfectly. It's hard doing it up on my own because it's the sides of it, but you see? It's nice. So I, when I wear it, I'm going to wear it with the straps off. Like that. I like it. It feels really nice. It really hugs you in, but it's not too stiff. It's a little dark, sorry, but I'm wearing this asymmetric Zara top, skirt, and this blazer Zara as well, and then cowboy boots. Pandora necklace. <laughs> I love it. I don't think I'm going to take this off now. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you what I got in at the ceramic store when I was in Lisbon. I've kept all of these things um, to the side in my kitchen because I just wanted to do a little ha little haul. <sighs> I love that shop so much. I don't think they have an online store. So if you go, if you visit Lisbon and you like this sort of stuff, like definitely check them out. There's another one as well that I've been recommended. Um, and maybe I'll link both of them down below in case you guys are interested. First of all, how nice is all the... I love the design so much and I love that they do these or uh, sort of like leaf inspired designs for the plates, like these ones, like so, such a nice sort of like leaf or shell design. Um, so with these two, these two are my favorite things because <laughs> since coming back from Lisbon, from Portugal, I've, na I've like now um, started drinking all of my coffees in espressos. <laughs> And so like when I was there, uh, cause you know, like when you're, when you're somewhere for a while and you sort of just pick up on how they do things. And I like it cause I just feel like I'm less bloated as well. Like not having big latte drinks anyway. So when I was in the shop, I saw that they did, they did all, they did, all of these really nice designs and colors of these espresso cups and the little saucer. So I sort of mixed and made my own sets. Um, but I love, I love, um, the colours and the effects on these. So I use, I've been using these every day since, um, I love them, they're so cute. And then, this plate, I don't know what I'm going to use for this, maybe, this could actually be used as, to put, like, jewellery in, rings and things. Um, or as a little snack plate, obviously, so, I don't know, like, if you've got friends over, you can put nuts in it or something. Um... So there's that. This bowl I love. My friend said it's for soup. I didn't actually realise it's for soup. <laughs> but it makes sense because obviously you can drink it, hold it like this and drink it. But um, when I saw it, I was thinking more for porridge. It's so cute and it's so comfortable to hold. And yeah, love that. Love the colour. Then this one I showed in the vlog as well. So you've seen that one already maybe. This little salt shaker holder. I really like the um, the shape and the size. I think it's cute. I need to fill that up now. This bottle stopper thingy, because um, I really liked the design on there. And this 
bowl plate, plate bowl. So nice. Again, I love the colour. Um, um, and yeah, I just don't, I don't have one like this with the high side on it. And I've wanted one for ages like this. I don't know, I feel like it's a bit of a Scandi design. Like, I might be wrong, but I love these. I love them with the high side. It's just really nice for like pasta dishes and things like that. So yes, I'm going to use these now. <laughs> I was keeping them to the side, but now I'm going to put them in my cupboards. Making some breakfast, going to do a little avocado, oh, huh? avocado mozzarella, onion, tomato on toast. I have plant in here too. I really need to use because it's going to, it's on its way out. <laughs> so I need to do that. This is my little mix to put on the, um, the toast. Parsley, avocado, some dressing. <laughs> I'm just in my home comfy clothes right now because I'm just about to sit down to do some work but we had a really nice weekend I took Indy to um, a friend's birthday party and then we had a family birthday meal for my mum because it's her mum it's her mum it's her birthday this week yeah basically that's it for this week I hope you enjoyed coming around with me and um, I'll see you in the next one bye